Hey everybody, it's Do Work LT. Shooting a little video tonight because I am a bachelor. And I'm doing something that a lot of bachelors would be doing on a Friday night. Having some ice cold yingling. And starting a Duracoat project. Um, this is the shake and spray kit um, that Lauer, oh what's it called, Lauer, excuse me, Lauer Custom Weaponry puts out. It's uh, $30 ish, something like that. But it comes with everything that you should need to do um, to uh, Duracoat a few of your favorite firearms. And I forget what they say, how many it'll do. Um, I just read it and now it's gone. But anyway, what I'm working on is, uh, is an M&P slide. Um, it comes with what you see here. Here's the Tactical OD Green Duracoat. Here's the hardener. You have a lid for your mix once you're kind of done. It lasts for I think six or eight hours after it's after it's mixed, but after that you're done. Um, the sprayer and the container, the true strip cleaner degreaser for whatever it is you're going to be doing, and um, I think I must said buffer pad. So we're going to give this a go. A, a lot of people have said that that it works pretty well, and um, you know. It's 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 something to do. I, I live in an area where there's a, a lot of good dura coating professionals, serra coating professionals, and and some uh, other people who can bail me out if this goes wrong. But you know, I don't think it'll go wrong. I managed to strip down the M and P pretty well, and we'll go show you our paint booth that I made up in the garage. So hopefully this goes well. All right, so here you see our paint booth. Um, just kind of rigged up in the garage to keep it keep it closed. We'll open the door before we start spraying. Uh, but you see, I have the M and P slide completely taken apart. Everything's off of it. We're getting ready to do the strip and uh, use the stripper on it, and um, got everything masked off that needs to be masked off that I have to worry about. Plugged some of the holes with toothpicks and some tape. But um, otherwise, we're just going to be doing an OD green on the outside of this and uh, maybe a couple other pieces but that's what we're up to tonight and this is my makeshift paint booth in the garage so if you do do this make sure you uh, facilitate some ventilation for yourself just anytime you're using an aerosol or some paint things like that it's just a good idea so I will be opening that garage door behind me and we'll keep you posted alright so here you see our stripped degreased M and P slide. It really, this uh, the stripper that comes with it really takes it off. I had completely um, used uh, break free or what's it called? Yeah, break free prior to this. But this, yeah, let's get it good. Well, uh, not going to happen anyway. The cleaner degreaser and the pad just kind of go over it. And it takes off all the foreign matter that you that you may have missed otherwise. And we'll let that dry out and uh, give it a few minutes. And we'll mix up our paint and our hardener and give this a spray. Here's how we're looking after about three coats. And uh, I'd say it's turning out pretty nicely. Real smooth. Real clean. Got it into all the spots. Got a nice, nice good application there so I think this is a good product I tell you the truth um, I've never done anything like this before but it really seems like it's working we'll give this a little bit more time to dry and then uh, hit it one last time and leave it be so that's what's going on with the Duracoat shake and spray system alright everybody this is the finished product, my M&P full size, after Duracoat, after its trip to Bowie Tactical Concepts, and after my uh, completion of all of the polymer work, all the stippling, uh, my indexing notch, my thumb stippling, my finger stippling, all that's all done. So this is kind of a culmination of my Duracoat video and the whole gun being done. But um, <clears throat> I started off and I showed you all what I was doing with 
with the Duracoat, the Shake and Spray Kit. And let's just let me summarize how that turned out. Um, basically, I love it. What you see here is the Tactical OD Green. And again, that is the, the uh, Duracoat Shake and Spray Kit. And I think it was somewhere around $30. And again, that's 150 colors. And you can pretty much do what you want to give your handgun, shotgun, AR, pocket knife, whatever, your personal touch based on uh, the colors that you like. So I kind of completed, after I got this back from uh, Bowie Tactical Concepts, I did, uh, I finished everything, uh, borrowed my my buddy who owns the shop, borrowed his sight pusher and changed out my sights. But So when I got this back, I took it back apart, pulled off the excess big dot sights and um, went to duracoating it. So basically the only thing I duracoated was the slide um, and uh, with just some real minor effort was able to take completely break down the slide take out all the internals uh, take out the extractor uh, which on the M&P is a little bit more complicated than a Glock uh, because of that you see right there there's a pin that you have to hammer out uh, be be well it takes some force but be careful when you do this because that's um, the big deal otherwise your extractor is not going back in but masked off everything set up my paint booth outside in the garage that you saw and ended up with this and the, again that's the tactical OD green it's it's done really well I really like the look uh, the contrast and how when you put it back together the black accents um, the OD I think it really looks cool the black sights on the OD and the barrel and the extractor and the rear sight on the OD I think it looks really really cool um, uh, a lot of great things you can do with with the Duracoat. It's a it's a nice finish. Uh, I have some some uh, some training on this finish already in and out of a Kydex holster, um, and not not really showing any wear. And again, that's not something I really worry about. I'm not worried about showing wear because if I do, I'll simply do it again. So I can't really speak to the durability yet of the Duracoat finish. I can just tell you that I think it looks pretty ba. So. Um, yeah, give that system a try. Duracoat's really cool, and I'll tell you, it was a fun, fun project. But um, I think it's a neat way to top off the work that's gone into this handgun, really, really turning it into something I think is special and uh, something that I enjoy shooting and carrying every day. Um, so, yeah, that's the Duracoat Shake and Spray Kit. Give that a try. Try it yourself, because it's a lot of fun. You Glock owners, when you're getting ready to change out those sights, the breakdown is even easier for you. Once you pull off, pull out the internals, that extractor falls right out. You're ready to go. So when you're getting ready to change your sights, think about doing a Duracoat kit. Might have a lot of fun with it. So this is Do Work LT. Thanks for watching the progress on this M&P uh, Duracoat job and and as it's it's going along. So uh, have fun. Be safe. We'll talk to you later.